Hey everyone, it's Quicken, and this is the moving vlog. Um, I hope that this is in depth and that I do a good job. Vlogging can be hard, because sometimes you just forget and you get things done and you're focused. So, um, I just called the electric company and had the power put in my name. It doesn't turn on until tomorrow, and then internet, the people for the internet don't come until Sunday. Today is Monday. So by Monday, no power. Honestly, uh, I just kind of thought they turned it on. The power, they just turn it on. I guess that's not true. Um, so I'll probably be like editing and stuff here, I guess, until Sunday. I just ate an everything bagel. I'm kind of nervous about that. So yesterday, you know, I've been cleaning out my closet because I am definitely, like, it's a one-bedroom apartment. And now I literally only live in a bedroom. But there's not a ton of space for storage. There's, like, two closets total. And one isn't deep, so it's, like, a broom closet. And then one is, like, my clothing closet. And it has a rack, but... Have you ever seen that episode of The Office where Kelly is talking about how the closet in her apartment is sh too shallow for a clothing hanger? And she's like, I don't know why they wouldn't just measure the dimensions of a clothing, clothing hanger because now my closet won't close and I just get all these piles of clothes on my floor and I just circle around all the piles. So that's me right now. Um, but I do have hangers that are like, not super long so let's see if those work if not i'll have to get just like trouser hangers the whole room is like kind of a mess um and i feel bad i don't want to like leave it a mess and like i'm not leaving on bad terms at all so it'll be like a pretty chill transition no doubt so today i want to clean uh, my coworkers are like, clean the apartment really well before you move in, and I think that's really good advice. Plus, um, there's no power there, so I think it would be a good time to clean, right? I think the water's turned on. I don't know. I also found out yesterday that the gas is included in my rent, so that's pretty chill. Because when I lived in West Philly, the gas bill got really expensive in the winter. So that being included is really, really cool. Um, no space heaters though was in the lease. And I have a space heater that I love. You just like heard it click. I've had it for years. It's like my best friend. Um, I'm that episode of Intervention where she's addicted to the blow dryer. I think Graveyard Girl is like addicted to her blow dryer too. I just like having a space heater. But then again, he said the apartment is so small that it heats up really quickly. And he was like, oh, you can leave it on 50 for your cat. I was like, fuck Ethan. No, I didn't say that. Um, so yeah, so right now, um, I put a box of, that's why I mentioned my closet. So I put a box of clothing on my Twitter and it's kind of just like the craziest box ever. Let's head over there. So this box of clothes, it's like this tall and these don't even close. So this is basically everything I've worn in like the last two years. Um, you probably recognize this shirt from my YouTube video, like how to YouTube on a budget. These are my Sailor Moon knee high socks. Um, I've worn this like every day of my entire life, like I'm wearing it in this picture, but I don't know, oh I love this shirt, I wore this, um, I think it like, your family member shame your tattoos, this is a really fun shirt, um, I wore this in like a hundred videos, I don't know, I was just like hoping, oh I love this, I wore this in a lookbook. This is from my um, scary movie tutorial. Not scary movie, scream tutorial. 
um, circle scarf. This is, I wore this to see Joanna Newsom. So, literally whoever gets this box, I hope that they, like, love Quickened. I wear this, like, every single day of beauty school. Because beauty school, we had uniforms, but we could wear scarves. So sorry the room is, like, in disarray. There's, like, a, like a ton of oatmeal up here. So, um, I put this on... You guys know this dress. So I put this on Twitter and Tumblr, and I was like, hey, I can't keep this stuff. You know, it kind of sucks, but uh, I can't I can't really keep any of it. Um, but that's like what you have to do. And that's been an, another hard part of this transition. Like that stuff just it can't come with me. And I don't know. I, I'm, like, telling myself, like, it served its role in my life. And the girl who's going to pick it up, she said that she's moving into a new place. And, you know, it's probably going to help her to either have, like, all new wardrobe or she can sell some of those pieces or take them to Buffalo Exchange and buy some stuff for her apartment or house where she's moving. I just don't have time. I don't have time to list it on Depop. I know those clothes are worth something, but I just don't have time. And I think, like, just getting rid of them will be the best thing for me. <laughs> Plus, it gives her an opportunity. Because there's, like, shoes in there and stuff that I never wore. So if she wants to take that stuff to Buffalo Exchange or Plato's Closet. Like, I don't have a car. And I think the closest Plato's Closet is in New Jersey. So... I don't- that box is like a hundred pounds. Someone was like, I'll buy it if you can ship it. And when I looked up the shipping, it was $119. Um, just because it weighs more than 50 pounds. I told her she used to pick it up in a car or an Uber. I can't really lift it. So, that's on the agenda today. And she just said she'll text me when she's here. That's on the agenda today. I already got my coffee. Um, once she comes, I'm gonna head over and just clean everything. Yeah. So, I am here to clean, um, Merry Christmas. And you can hear, like, it's kind of loud, but it looks like it's construction workers who are being really loud and not my neighbors, so that's cool. So I'm here, and I'm ready to clean. Got my Swiffer. I'm gonna clean the heck out of this place. So I've been cleaning for like 45 minutes now, and I got to the bathroom, and there was like some shit right here. Like, I don't know, that like plunger fucking toilet brush thing, I guess from the previous tenant. So I was like, that's pretty gross. I went to throw that out, and look at all this shit, dude. I had gloves on and I just like touched this thing and it fell right off the wall and that's like all black mold. So I like immediately texted my landlord and like, I don't know if you can see, but like some of this shit right here and I'm like that and that, I guess like, and these are two different colors. So like, I guess, like, shame on me for not seeing some of this stuff. This, I pointed out to him yesterday, and he was like, oh, I can have my guys fix it. Um, and I was like, okay, like, that should be cool. And he said that he would paint in here, because I guess he never painted. But he said he would paint it yellow, like the rest of the apartment, if I didn't want to paint it myself. So I kind of was like, oh, I might want to paint it myself. Like, that sounds like a pretty cool option. Because um, this is a really small space, and if it's painted yellow, I might just fucking die. But, um, I mean, I am always out for the negatives, so I'm trying to stay really positive. But right now I'm like, oh, maybe I just shouldn't have fought with John so much. So, 
this black mold though is fucking ridiculous and I don't know what my lease says about black mold but I know in Philadelphia you're a fucking scumbag if you make somebody live in a situation like this and like why is the shower curtain still here that's like pretty gross so I don't know I hope he texts me back because usually he's like cool like I have his number so hopefully also there's no fucking light bulb in here i don't know i've only been here like four times and those times he like gave me a guided tour so i don't know like maybe he didn't see that mold and like it's nobody's fault but if he is scummy i'm just gonna fucking freak out like i really hope this isn't a big deal but that's fucking that's like that's rude first of all and that's like fucking wilding out but I don't know if he used like if he did it or he like um like subcontracted all that stuff out so like maybe he doesn't even know that it's a bullshit job but and then under the sink like what the fuck is that dude like I don't mind like putting something down over this but if that's there because of like a leak yeah, like, my finger's wet right now. Something is leaking. Alright, I'm gonna call this dude. So, I just got off the phone with him. And it sucks. Um, he said that he's gonna come over, he's gonna send his guy over. I don't know what that means. And then he said, whatever is happening under the sink just needs to be tightened. <sighs> I hope this is okay. He seems like a really cool guy. Like, I hope I'm being fucked here, but he said that he's just gonna come for this mold and spray it with bleach. But I watched HGTV, like, I'm pretty sure that's like a fucking underlying problem. And I feel so bad, I'm like, Asking John for so much help. I just have to clean here and hope for the best. And then I don't know if John comes over tonight and he's like, that's fucking poison and you are stuck here. Like he wouldn't say that, but I mean, I can't walk away from it at this point. I signed a lease, I paid all this money. I know I should have looked out for all this stuff, but there was just like a bunch of shit right there. I don't know if like on purpose. And I sent my landlord that text and then I just called him. And then I was telling him about the mold and he was like, oh, I got your text. So I'm like, did you want to acknowledge it? Oh my God, this sucks. This is already just day one. Like that's from a leak. Like that's from something leaking. And the music outside is so loud. Also the, the fucking curtain, why is there a window in the bathroom? I don't know. He said he's gonna spray it with bleach and then paint it. He said he was gonna use Kills, but I know Kills is just white spray paint that like is rust resistant. This sucks. I just had to. I want to call John so bad. I don't know. So I'm taking a little break from cleaning just for a second. No copyright infringement if you hear the music from outside. So. It was really easy for me to get like the grout the grout clean from like mold and stuff, which like I'm not really upset about that. Like my shower at home gets really moldy and this grout is like really hard, whereas like the grout at my house is really soft. So it was really easy to like scrub the fuck out of. Um so this plug can't come out. I was really trying to yank at that thing, but I was able to clean like all this mold or whatever the fuck that is, like DNA and shit. I was able to clean that out of the plug, 
but this drains really slowly so I don't know if this is like just like a hint of the problem um I gotta get rid of this like this needs to get out of here um there's like a weird smell but I think it's coming from the cleaner because I don't smell it anywhere else um so when I went to clean the toilet like all down the side there was like all this shit I already sprayed it it's like all that pink that like pink shit um so I'm gonna have to clean that my landlord texted me and told me to spray all the shit with bleach and wipe it up and then he would come and fix it like um I really don't want to do that but I will like I feel like I shouldn't have to and then there's like these I don't know what like I think that's just paint I guess I don't really know what like all this shit Oh. It's coming right up. So maybe it's mold. That would be great. I'm trying to like chill myself out. Like I think mold is like a problem that households just fucking have. Um I was thinking of getting like over the toilet storage to like cover these fucking holes. Like I'm trying to figure out what the girl used to have here. And I'm thinking it's one of those things. I sometimes I think over the toilet storage is really gross. We had it at my old house, and uh, I mean, we used it all the time, so it works, I guess. I don't know, what do you guys think? What should I put here? If not, like, I'm just gonna have that bro spackle that. I feel like if I put nothing in there, it'll make the bathroom look bigger, because this is all you get. But um, still, like, no power here. I, I guess I feel good that this shit can come up and I'm using pretty strong shit. Like, I'm not using vegan stuff, like, right now, but I just borrowed that from John's parents. Because I really just want to get the, the apartment, like, super clean and shit before I move in. One thing I noticed is, like, there's, like, food stains everywhere, but really weird places. Like, there was a food stain on here, and then... There was a food stain on the tile. I got most of it up, but maybe, yeah, there's like food stain right there. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but it's like pasta sauce or like rice, like a rice thing. Like I understood, it, it was like on this window too. And like, I understand it would be on this window, but why it's like everywhere, dude. I can't figure it out. So the sink was really fucking gross. But I was able to, like, really scrub it. Wait, focus. I was, there was, like, this weird yellow film in here. I was able to get that out uh, by scrubbing. And then for the leak under the sink, I just put, like, a pad there. This is, it's a Swiffer thing, but for the fucking sinks, period. And then the landlord said he would come and tighten it. But I was, like, looking under there. And it takes a long time for this to drain. Once it's like really going, it doesn't like, I don't know, like it doesn't like drain the right away. It like really adds up. But I think a little thing is supposed to screw here anyway. So maybe like that much water isn't supposed to come out at all. I have not tested this, but it was really gross. So I cleaned it. I should probably give it the old spritz to get out whatever funk was in there. Before I Swiffer, I need to clean under here. I sprayed them all with bleach and was like kind of just letting them cool off. I know these come out, but I don't know how. My old roommate used to take them out all the time. I don't know if like they have to be a special thing. But I swept out all the cabinets and I need to get cabinet liners. I didn't even think of that. I have, I have some of the windows open to get the devil out. And apparently this fridge moves. Like, pretty easy. Like, check that out. So, I'll be able to move this if I don't want it there. I have some, like, wire racks that I figured I'd put here. And maybe, like, Ethan's litter box could go there. Where, let me know where your litter box is for your cats. My, like, all the single ladies out here. Because, I don't know, I'm, like, trying to figure it out. And I think I'm going to do a, like, under the sink trash can situation but there's no dividers it's like one big dark room these are cool
but I definitely think I want liners for this. This is a fake drawer, and then this is a real drawer. Um, and then whoever had this before me, I guess like wanted this to be tall. Maybe they kept like cereal or some shit in here. Cause this looks like it could be there. But it looks like they opted to have it one big thing. Um, it looks like additional storage could go up here. Like, I don't know what, one magazine. But um, when I jumped on this to clean up there, it was like kind of unstable. So I don't know about all that. Um, have my own little thing right there. And then this closet has like fucking coat and then some wires. Like, am I allowed to get rid of those? And then like a screen. I just have to clean up this bedroom and then I should be good to go home and just fucking cry. Um, I called John, I just like had to, and he said that, I don't know, that this will be fine. It's like eating the drywall, but when I touched it, I've been using gloves by the way, when I touched it, it seemed soft. Like, should I tell the neighbor downstairs that one day I might just collapse into their apartment? Who knows? Um, I don't know. My friend, Steve the plumber, I mean, I don't want to call him if I don't have to, but some of the shit, like, if my landlord just puts a band-aid on it and doesn't, like, actually fix it, I'm just gonna call Steve and, um, pay him to just, like, look at this shit. And I also got a new shower head. Well, one of you guys got me a new shower head, actually, because this one is, like, I don't know, it's, like, like, does that even work? It's like kind of fucked up and it's like all molded and yellow. And if this bathroom has a mold problem, then no doubt this shit from the 80s is just full of mold. Like, ugh. but I don't know. I like the window in the bathroom now that I've cooled off. And I mean, I don't hate this, but it is like gross under there. So I'll probably just keep cleaning products under here for the whole house, I think, and leave the kitchen one for storage once that leak gets all sorted out. Um, I read somewhere that if you get a clear shower curtain, it makes your bathroom look bigger. Um, so that's what I ordered. I don't know if that's true or not because my bathroom's already gonna look big, but I think because of the window in the bathroom, I should like always keep my bathroom door open. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know. Um, I'm gonna finish up here. A lot of those like white spots from the bathroom are also in here and I dusted a lot of that. I think it was just like from repair from the drywall. I don't think there's like a huge dust issue. You can kind of see it there and I'll just swiffer that all up. Um, does anyone have tips for cleaning blinds? Because I feel like I look like an idiot. I don't know. I have no idea, but let's see. Thanks guys. So I am almost done here and I completely forgot about the fridge. So there's no electricity yet. I just had the fridge open. I just cleaned it out. Um, it kind of stinks. It's like stinking of this room. There was like some mold in it, whatever, whatever. I'm thinking like, cause I have to theorize. I'm thinking that just no one's lived here for a little while. And that's why things look unlived in. Um, I was cleaning the blinds in the bedroom and noticed this one's all fucked up. Um, it looks like it just got like chewed by a dog um, or some shit. And it's all, it's like that. I mean, am I ever gonna really have them down? I don't know. I just let my landlord know because like, I want him to know the things that are wrong. Like, cause I didn't do that <laughs> and that's like, Kind of what I want. You know, I probably always have them at least like that. Well, when once they're like to there, you can start to see. And then like there's the construction that's happening outside. It looks like the people will have like a shared backyard situation. And it looks like this is the window that has the air conditioning unit like for it anyway. And it said in my lease I get a window unit. Um, it's not in any of the closets, but I figure he knew. Um, 
So I told him that I wiped that mold with some bleach. I'm like happy I have these little arms because I can get back there and I like got back in here and shit and I was thinking like it's a little out of place that this is brown. I was like should I paint the frame of this brown? Then I don't know. There's like some weird smell happening and I'm hoping it's just from like disrupting all the fucking shit. Um, you know I'd love to keep this open overnight. Um, my electricity gets turned on at 8 o'clock tomorrow. I don't know if I should just like leave this open, go home, take a shower, and then come back and close it. Um, and I think my fridge also leans kind of forward, so maybe putting like a piece of cardboard underneath it so it's not like you can kind of see how it like leans forward like that. No, it's like really light too, so I don't want it to like crush these in. It's a cool fridge though, like. As far as fridges go, like you can move all that stuff. Um, there's more food stains. I hit it with the bleach, so that's just kind of sitting. Where else did I just find a food stain? Oh yeah, it was like, well, I washed it. Okay. Um, I just have to Swiffer and get out of here. I think I gave it like a, a good day's work. I've been here since noon. So I wish I could like leave. Oh yeah, I have to clean those blinds. They have mold on them. I wish I could leave the windows open because it's like stinking in here, but oh well. I got the toilet pretty clean. It might be a new toilet. I doubt it. I'm kind of thinking like, should I get a new toilet seat? But I really cleaned it pretty well. And it looks like it was maintained because there's like some, some shit right there. I mean, that sponge has to go to hell, but I don't have any gloves on. So that'll stay there in another minute. All right, let me start to suffer. All right, so I'm gonna Swiffer my way out of this joint. Um, someone told me that the slip Swiffer liquid is bad for cats, so I'm gonna clean it initially with this and then come back in a few days and clean it with my method cleaner. But honestly, I just wanted to do like, a, not a quick clean, because I've been here all day, but like clean it first like this. Like, I don't know if that makes sense. Like, get what I can out of the floor with this and then come back later and do a different kind of clean. Also, I walked over here, so I didn't want to carry like too much shit. Is this a fun house? Are you serious? Oh, well, good thing I won't walk in there, I guess. And maybe that's whoever built this apartment is doing the same thing. <laughs> Okay, the floors are clean for the most part. I'm gonna have to get some Swiffer liquid that's like just for hardwood floors. I don't know if these are fake though, because if you like walk to the corner, they like, I don't know, they like, I can see <laughs> that stuff. John always follows these like, um, like fucked up construction memes and grouting your floor, your hardwood floor seems like it would be on that meme. So I'm just gonna let that stay open all night. That's the amount of trash I produced, which seems kind of crazy because I came here with only that. But there was like some shit in here. This like ice cube tray from the 70s. Um, I don't really like ice. I like like room temperature. So I don't know, Keith and Hannah come over and want cold drinks. You're fucked. Um, that is like the toilet brush and plunger, like that was gross, and there's something down at the bottom that is black, I don't know what that is, so an honest day's work here I guess. Is that a mouse? Did you guys hear that? You heard that right? mouse toy over here. Huh. I guess I didn't do a great job. Well, I don't know what those white things are called. Is that a radon test kit? Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think I should move this over a few inches? 
I don't know about all that. Now my hand's shaking from getting on the floor. Also, and just putting this out there, I saw this like wallpaper on Target's website that's like fake um, brick. I was thinking it might be cool to like put a fake thing like right here. Cause this bump out is probably the chimney or something to the building. So there's not much I can do about it, but I think it'd be cool to make it like a feature wall or something. Then there's another one right here. I don't know about that. Oh, my landlord just texted me and said he, how many blinds need to be replaced? Um, I don't know about that thing. Cause I think I'm gonna have my couch on the side. And then that little pimple on the wall is where the door stops. So I think my TV stand will go here. Um, that was on my Amazon wish list. And then finally, I have these like booby lights. Like you ever seen the meme where the kids like when the internet's out and you have to pretend there's a booby on your ceiling? So I have these booby lights. Um, but if I remember from my old house, these are really easy to replace. And I know like some of this electrical stuff, like once you pull it out, you can kind of see like I mean, obviously I'd use a tutorial or ask John to do it, but I think it might be cool if I replace these lights. I saw some really cool like three like light things come out and I think that would be really cool for YouTube and stuff. And I think it would make the ceiling look different because my wall and my ceiling are both like this canary yellow and I might just die in a corn and canary grave. Let me know what you think about the lights. How easy is it to replace these booby lights? Because at my old house, they're really easy to replace, but I don't know. And they kind of seem out of place, like he just bought them because they were on sale. And like, I don't blame you. Love your life. But yeah, here's my dollar store haul, which I'm gonna share later in a like, once I get all my stuff from Habitat for Humanity in the house. But yeah. Thank you guys, this is day one of moving into the apartment. Let me know what else you'd like to see, and I don't know, whatever questions you have. I'm honestly a first time, first timer with all of this, and although I feel like I am blessed with a little bit of experience from helping John build his house for so many years, some of that, like, um, what is the suffering from success? Now it's like, I can see what's wrong. And I don't know if that's a symptom of watching HGTV and thinking I'm all that. But look at the lighting. Like I think my bed will go here, but I could film in here. That's so cool. And also let me, let me know what you guys would do about the bathroom. Cause the walls are like needing to be painted. That's not a shadow. This is a different color. And then there's also just like, would you do storage over the toilet in like one of those racks? Would you just do like some shelves? I think that could be cool. Maybe that's what the person who used to live here had. Some brown shelves might make this being brown make more sense. Let me know. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you look forward to seeing. And I can't believe I vlogged all day. All right, um, until next time, bye.